Okay, a lot of people ask me, how is it that you install a Titan post anchor into a post and are you boring out the hole? No, you're not. You're using a hole saw to create a, a pilot cut and it only goes down the depth of the hole saw, which is maybe an inch and a half or so. You'll notice the tube is th at least three and a half inches long as it has a sharp inside edge. It should have a sharp inside edge. If it doesn't, you can t touch that up with a file, but it's, it should be sharp. The goal is that it, it, it cuts. So I'm going to line this up relatively square. I can check from two angles to make sure. I'm going to tap set it in. I can see it's a little bit off. I'm going to square it up and get that edge to bite. You can see it's, it's almost perfect already, but I'm going to double check. Oh, okay, and it's a little bit off skew, so I'm just going to tap this side ever so slightly, and now it's perfectly square. You can see square to the post, okay? The other thing is, I've chosen a piece of wood that doesn't have any major knots in the, you know, lower 12 inches. There's a little one here, but I'm not too worried about that. If they were in this zone, this is bad, because that's, it doesn't cut very well, uh, cross-cutting into, into uh, to knots. So now I'm going to tap it in, and as I tap, I'm going to turn it this way to make sure I'm going straight. Okay, so far so good, but if I'm off... A bit, I just tapped it on the other side, and you see how I brought that into line? Just like that. Brought it into line. And I mean, I'm just fairly lightly, lightly tapping this. Of course, it's, it's harder if the wood is harder. I'm just checking as it, as it goes down. Okay, and there we go. So that, that's essentially it. That's how you do it, and then we'll follow up with some with quarter inch uh, pile holes, straight in, not out, straight in, and then we'll ratchet them in with our impact wrench, and and we're done. That's that's how it works. So what we've done here is we've dropped a chalk line around the perimeter of the deck at one and five eighths to accommodate the one inch overlap of the deck boards, and that ensures that these holes in the fast in the anchor are perfectly centered, perfectly centered with the center of the joist. Now if you're too close to the edge of a deck board, in this case we're a good three quarters of an inch away, but if you were further or uh, closer in we might uh, use a, a pilot hole to uh, pre-drill so we, didn't, we don't split the edge of that deck board. Sometimes when you install the post anchor on the deck you might find one board is a little higher than the other or whatnot, and it's not exactly plumb. That's not to worry, it's very easy to, to, to fix. All you do is take your level, plumb it, and you can see that I'm slightly, slightly pointed that way. And we want to bring this side down a bit. Actually, we want to bring, we want to bring this side down a bit. So we're going to apply some extra force on this side here. We're bringing it right in the line, just like that. Now we're perfectly square. Just that's all it takes. 